Hi everybody, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Julie Rondazzo and my type of assessment is Criterion Reference Assessment. Criterion Reference Assessment can be defined as an assessment where students' grades are determined by comparing their achievements with a set of clearly defined criteria of learning goals. A few benefits of Criterion Reference Assessment is first, there are clear expectations. The teacher or educator is able to communicate clearly what they are looking for, and the students are aware of what material is needed to do well on the assessment. Secondly, you are able to see what is valued. This method emphasizes on a skill that is obtained through the course and how it is connected to the learning outcomes rather than what material is obtained throughout the course. Lastly, it provides students the opportunity to self-evaluate. Students are given the opportunity to adjust their assessments based on the expectations. There are four steps to a criterion reference assessment. First, there is a rubric. As an educator, prior to assigning the assignment or the task, you would create a rubric which includes specific criteria and standards that you are hoping to be met by these students. This criteria and standards will state what guidelines are needed to be followed in order to do well on the assignment. Secondly, you would provide this rubric to your students and explain the expectations and criteria that you are looking for. After the assignment or task is completed, you would use the rubric you created to mark your students' work. So you would see if the criteria has or has not been met assign a grade, and provide feedback. Lastly, you would give the feedback and grade to your students where they are given an opportunity to review their grade and see the areas where they did well or the areas that they can improve on. So here's an example of a rubric that our own Professor Terry used for this exact, exact assignment. As you can see, the assignment is broken down into different criteria and what she's looking for. For example, good instructions, logical and clear, etc. Each of these sections is weighted with different points. When the assignment was assigned, Terry provided us with the rubric and clearly stating the criteria and what she's looking for. She explained or moderated the assignment to us. She will then use this rubric to grade us. And if we've met the criteria that she set, finally, once they are marked, she will be able to review the rubric, see how well we did, and then in certain areas and where we can improve in other areas. So here's another example of a rubric that I have had for my previous course. As you can see, my, profess my professor highlighted the areas in which I met the criteria in the assignments and the areas where I didn't quite meet the expectations. She also provided me with a letter grade and a paragraph of feedback of my assignments. Um, these are a few of my references. I hope that you learned what Criterion Reference Assessment is, and I look forward to learning more about other ways to assess.